to the entire party. All right. What? No. What? I apologize immediately. What? Okay, so yes. let's get this. Let's get this party started. Yes. Let's go. Let's go all down right, the yeah. line. All right. Let's introduce our characters. Jack French, okay. as played by Oscar. Yes. Describe, what? like, what? tell tell the audience about your character. Uh, he's your stereotypical mooch, essentially. But everybody loves him. And those onion rings um, sound crisp. Listen, we're not talking about his fucking food, all right? I just got done eating. I'm fat. I'm still hungry. I want more food. We're not going there. Because the Vietnam <laughs> fucking Charlie steals all my food every time. Fucking Charlie. Um, so, so Jack, Jack's a couch surfer by trade. Like, I'm pretty sure he's actually put that down on his resumes before. Like, on his app. Well, not even resume. He doesn't have a resume. He has applications that he's put in. A um, couple of them were themed after video games. <laughs> like, he put his name down as Mario. As Super Mario. Like, first name Mario, last name Mario. Uh, previous experience was uh, killing Bowser thousands of times. Um, yeah, specialty of jumping on Goombas. So, but that's that's pretty much. He's a he's a he's a couch surfer by trade. Specialty is Goomba genesis. Professional exactly. couch surfing mooch. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, everybody loves him. He's a cool guy. He's entertaining. You know, I mean, he, everybody likes to keep him around. They they, it's either out of pity or out of you know likeness that they keep him around. But you know, either way, he's a cool right, guy. So, so Axel. Mm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about oh. yourself? Um, uh, my character is a police officer um, who's married, no kids. Um, his, he's ba basically driven um, to be the best. He's very serious about fighting crime um, and won't stop till the, the streets are clean, I guess you'd say. He always keeps his officer's promise and... Um, yeah. That's about it. All right. And Levi. Guy. All right. Uh, yeah. Levi is an antiquarian who is helping to raise his teenage sister since their parents died because of the family curse, whatever that is. Uh, he's fighting off someone who wants to buy him out <clears throat> while running his business. And he is concerned with doing the right thing at all costs. Don't get on his bad side. He will hold a grudge. Mm. All right. Well, I'll I'll you on your ass. With his shotgun. With his shotgun. And Tanya. And I, I am more or less happy-go-lucky college kid. Go, I'm, I'm not in happy-go-lucky right now because I've been kicked out of my house. And I seem happy-go-lucky on the outside. On the inside, I'm actually mm, got some problems. Got some problems going on there. Uh, my twin brother got kidnapped when I was seven, and I personally, like my parents, have kind of resigned that he's dead. I personally haven't, so I'm I'm going to college, or at least attempting to go to college right now for data forensics, trying to help him out. I love asking questions, and yeah, I'm currently failing out of college and sleeping on my well, was sleeping on my lesbian friend's couch, but now sleeping. I'm waking mansion. up in a mansion. Yeah. yeah, probably taking a cab home, but at least it'll be paid for. <laughs> <laughs> so get it. You you know your brother's alive because you have a twin connection. Exactly. Like my parents are like, nah, seriously, we twin. can't find him. Nobody could find him. I'm like, uh, no, I believe he's still alive. My parents are like, you're nuts. Get out of our house. <laughs> Go do something real with your life and then come back because so you're nuts right now. So. <laughs> so, uh, in the last episode, um, are so supportive. highlights, uh, the, the characters discovered a, a, like a, like a, like a sick and dying man who, who had given up hope, uh, and had been introduced to the dark arts of black magic by a stranger who was calling himself Prudence, and that's all we know about the stranger. And he was working some kind of black ritual in a trailer, uh, on the wrong side of town, uh, and it was releasing these... Like while it was sustaining him, it was also releasing these dark, cold demons, uh, or or evil entities of some kind into the world who were possessing yeah, people, demons. like thugs and and cops. Uh, and and uh, by the time it was all said and done, Levi had killed uh, this 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 practitioner of the dark arts, and has been having bad dreams about it ever since. <clears throat> really, that's uh, true. On the bright side, <clears throat> no more supernatural bad stuff happens in this city ever again because mm -hmm. we killed it. Mm -hmm. Or I killed it. 
So, and then yeah. uh, uh, at at one point, right at the right at the heat of the moment, towards the end of that that episode, Jack French started hearing everybody's thoughts around him. Axel Omega. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Released a a big telekinetic blast. Oh yeah. Energy. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Levi's wounds healed. His arm got really huge and muscular, and he hulked out in a in a berserker rage. And Tanya wasn't in that episode, so nothing happened to her yet. Uh, but it, it was a one-off because that was just the magical energies in the air. That's never right. gonna happen again. We all know that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything life is back to normal. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> then, at the start of the next episode, uh, for the second time, the characters have started crossing their crossing each other's plot paths by coincidence. Mm. Uh, and this time they were all brought to the mansion of of one Jeremiah Kennington. Who is a very young, very rich uh, kid trying to... He's like 19 years old and he's trying to live up to, you know, have just had this whole, his father's estate and everything. Big, multi-million dollar... Judging by the off of him, like, uh, like, They run like living communities, like gated communities and stuff all over all over the country, all over the world. And, uh, and their father had died. And so, like, it just fell on him, and he's just trying to do his best, uh, which is taking its toll on his relationship with his little sister. Uh, Levi was introduced because uh, Levi had come across a rare crucifix uh, in his antiquarian network of friends, and he made quite the killing by basically uh, <clears throat> buying the thing for, like, two, three grand and selling it to this kid. Uh, for like seventy five thousand, <laughs> yeah, made a killing on that. Meanwhile, Axel was called in because the mayor had recommended Axel <clears throat> to uh, to Kennington because Kennington has a, a problem where murders are happening on the full moon of every month and only in his gated communities. And he can't figure out why. Um, Tanya uh, is going to college with uh, Kennington's little brother. Um. Our older brother, sorry, his older brother, who is uh, going to college to be to become a a, a forensic biologist, and uh, they hit it off. And Tanya was more than willing to let this guy, who clearly has no uh, skill with women, we studied. Yeah, <clears throat> studied. That's all. We studied. That's all. Uh, you that was... studied. Wow, mm. <laughs> We did it. Okay, so Daddy, so Jesus. so Jack. Oh, God, the last episode is all I'm saying. Da, 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 da. I'm saying. I got some action. Studying going on. <laughs> <laughs> judgmental, I am judgmental. <laughs> all right. Oh God. All right, so. I think that's where we left off. Probably like the next day or whatever the heck. So Jack. It is where... Yes. It's been a crazy day. Right. So you've been you've been you've been like you know running around doing your jack thing, checking up on Mike, making sure he's okay. As it turns out, he is okay. He's got a special medication he's got to take now that he's had all the smoke inhalation, but yeah, well, but it'll be yeah, fine. Jack, he's probably gonna sell the pills anyway. And uh, the, the you know a couple of, a couple of weeks will go by and it'll it'll be you know not filled Hold with up. creepy demons and cold bullshit or whatever, right? I got a question. What's up, Matt? actually? I was, um, I've been thinking about, about Mike being in the hospital because of the smoke inhalation, and that was kind of my yeah. fault. That was my misfire with the question. That <laughs> set his house on fire. <laughs> Can I track him down? I was thinking I'd donate, like, 10000 of the 75000 I made to him yeah, to yeah. pay for his medical bills, set him up for a while until he gets <clears> in place. We'll get back to that. All right. I figure that is doing the right thing at any cost. No, that's you true. can't find him. That's true. Yeah, now that you've actually, like, as soon as you sold it, you're like, oh, hey, I could help my friend out yeah. now. But yeah. this is really wanting because because optical wasn't bad, here last I put week. Him in the hospital. Like optical wasn't here last week, so I got to run something for him before you guys have all like convened at the mansion, right? Yeah, no, I'm cool with that. You just so, said like a couple weeks go by, and I'm like, well, yeah. I want to get to it before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashback. So you get your uh, your downtime, right? <laughs> What was the flashback sound? Oh, uh. <laughs> All right, on, on three. Ready, guys? Ready, guys? One, 
two, three. <laughs> Making a fucking highlight of that so hard. That was the best thing ever. That was. I feel. I feel like we are unified and a well gelled <laughs> unit now. I feel like I'm the reason for most of the highlights that come from tabletop. <laughs> I don't know. I've been quoted at least twice. You so, get quoted. I've been highlighting. Right, flashback time. True. So Jack. Yeah. You are. Uh, you're going from point A to point B, probably from one couch to the next, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And you you notice this this car has been broken down on the side of the road. Smoke billowing up from the engine, right? And That's uh, right. That and there's sucks. this guy, uh, kind of feeling his way around the edge of the car. Mm-hmm. With a blind man's cane. <laughs> you know he's gonna eat an onion ring now. You know just to spite you, he's gonna eat onion rings. <laughs> so what do you do? Um, I'm assuming I'm walking down the road at this point, right? Mm -hmm. When I see this. I'm going to kind of walk over and just be like, yo, you know the car's on fire there, brother. I know. I don't know anything about engines. Do you know anything about mechanics? Not really, but I'll take a look at it. Are you, are you over? And he puts his hand on your shoulder. Ah, there you are. Oh, strapping a lad, aren't you? Excellent. <laughs> Could you, could you kindly take a look at my engine? I have to get to my daughter's recital. You're, you're driving? That way. And he points. He points you're in a direction that doesn't actually follow the road exactly. Like, if you just follow, like, as if it would, like, cut diagonally across the road, right? You're, you're, you're driving? Naturally, son. It's what people do when they go places, right? But you're... <laughs> okay, are you blind? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna ask this. You can't first. just ask people if they're blind. Yes, That's I can. Says, you can't just ask people if they're blind, son. It's rude. <laughs> well, um, no, really. I suffer from because recent eye I surgery. Would rather... No, I am not blind. I am temporarily inhibited. Okay. Well, I'm not. I, you know, not really a rude question because I'd rather you know not assume you're blind if you're not. So, okay. So how about this? Um, you know. Hold on. I'm going to pull out Faith's phone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call AAA and act like I, am, like I am somebody with AAA. Right. And I'm going to have AAA come and get the car. And then I'm just going to call for a cab. <laughs> All right. So roll, roll me roll me, roll me, uh, roll me a manipulation for subterfuge. Uh, wait, subterfuge? Yeah. Why that? Is that even a word? What? You think it's it would be sneaky. persuasion? To, to, so, because you're not somebody with AAA. Right, but I'm persuading. Don't them. question the GM optical. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that's the so thing. So I'm just saying. Used. I would so think it's still used that whenever you are misrepresenting the truth. Oh, okay. Because subterfuge, I, I mean, I, I assume that's with like stealthy and stuff. So. Yeah, you're being socially it's stealthy. stealthy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's lying and, and deceit. That's why I would think it would be more persuasion than anything else. But no, okay. What? Subterfuge yeah. specifically. Well, anyway. Oh, you're fine. Three successes. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, you still gonna are you like? <laughs> you still gonna say no? You go, you go get killed, son. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you needed. By, jo by George, son. Did you just call me a cab? Oh, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, I fucking cab. love cabs, son. Yep. Yeah. What the? <laughs> what? We're gonna we're gonna get you to your your recital. I've always got AAA coming to take care of the car for you. I appreciate that. Not a problem. I'll come would, with you. Would you would you mind coming with me? Yeah, yeah, no, it's no problem. I'll come with you. I'll, I'll make sure you get there. Okay. Excellent. I I would super appreciate that, son. That would be spiffy. <laughs> oh. All right, here, all right. here comes the cab. Okay, so you know how uh. You know how, like, 
that 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 classic scene in like the movies or in TV or like where somebody gets toilet paper stuck to the bottom of their shoe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy's got a big leaf stuck to the bottom of his shoe, and it's not a leaf that comes from any plant you've seen around here. Um, hold, hold on a second. So you got you got some on your shoe. What? Just lift up, lift up your foot for me. Which one? Uh, uh what, um, whichever one has the leaf on it. I don't okay. know. Left. Yeah. left right. Excellent. Yeah, okay. He lifts up his right. Wait, no, I'm sorry. And then he lifts up his his left foot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and re reach down and pull the leaf off and tell him that I uh, right. pull the leaf off and kind of look at it. It smells like apples. <laughs> I kind of think that I should save this, but I don't know. Very well. Oh, is that is that the cabbie I hear? I'm gonna shove it in my backpack for right now because it just looks somewhat interesting. Is that is that the cabbie? Uh, yeah, I, be I believe so. Cabby will stop, pull up, right? Yeah. Um. I'm pretty and, much gonna, uh, I'm, at this point, I, I'm gonna tell the cab to take us to wherever we're going, mm -hmm. but I'm telling him that it's for, that it's for Officer Omega. <laughs> okay. You already got three, <laughs> you already got three successes for subdiffusion attempts to get this place anywhere, so I'm not gonna make you re-roll it. Uh. <laughs> That's great though. That he's still flying on Axel Omega's uh, reputation as a cop, getting free yep. cab rides. Yeah. That's legit. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a gamble. Okay. Um. And uh, as 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 you know, as you arrive, like he tells you where you're going, you tell him where you're going, right? Mm -hmm. And as 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 you pull up, you know he climbs out, and you step out, and then he stops and turns his head because he hears a conversation on the side of the road. Right? Mm -hmm. He hears, like, these two guys talk and they're wearing suits. Right? They look like they might be, like, blue-collar. Uh, he turns... I know that voice! THAT BLUE GOES ME MONEY! And he's just gonna, like, start running in the direction of these two voices. With a clenched oh, fist. Man. Well, at this point, I think I'm just going to follow him, but not with any kind of intent to stop him, because I kind of want to see what happens. <laughs> Dude rolls up and just fucking decks a motherfucker! Oh, shit! <laughs> shit. Guy in a suit sprawls back. What the fuck? You owe me money! Bam! Bam! Give me my money! Bam! Bam! <laughs> do you do anything yet? He's a pimp. Sounds like it. I'm pretty much just sitting here and watch. I have no personal ties to this man. Like, okay. I have no personal ties to protect him. I have... Uh, this is just entertaining to me right now. Especially All considering right. the fact of how accurate, you know, his hits are. And he's, and he's supposedly blind right now. All right, so... He's, like, temporarily blind. Oh, no, I oh can't. he's just inhibited. I require... Hold on. I can't do this character <laughs> without this prop. One, one second. Hold on! Pause! <laughs> Fuck! I do wonder what's up with Shit. all the leaves. What do you mean? Was there other instances what? of leaves? Oh, oh, oh that's yeah. right. For you, yeah. there was. Yeah, lots. And me yeah. too. Remember the old, the old lady? What stuff leaves? In? What is Squeegee's just? I don't going nuts. <laughs> he's just that? like he's like creeping around his desk. What is going on? <laughs> I'm going playing like, he's, like a crazy he's, old you know, exactly man. Or something. Man, right? right? I think until the something. second that you actually need it. He looks like he's trying to rob them. No idea where it went. <laughs> he's like always, he always tries to find these props. Hold on. Like... Somebody, somebody call the cops. Somebody's robbing Evil Squeegee's <laughs> house. It looks like Evil Squeegee. <laughs> uh, let me call somebody. somebody. Somebody call the police. <laughs> evil Squeegee's getting swatted by people that look like Wait, Evil Squeegee. Oh I'm my god. god. <laughs> Axel, we need you. I swear Axel. it was right here. It's somebody oh, in Evil Squeegee's can skin. Can you describe the object? <laughs> My sunglasses. <laughs> oh, your sunglasses. Um, do you know, I don't think I've seen any leaves yet. Suddenly. Wait. He loses his sunglasses. Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm. Oh my god. Oh that my is, god. I'm a, oh shit. Okay, oh so, my god. Okay, I don't have my shades right now. I'm ready right, to my clothes. But uh, so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> a second. Okay, I, gotta, okay. I, gotta, I gotta get into my, I gotta get into my, I gotta get counter. Okay, so, so here's this absolutely batshit crazy blind guy who was driving, right? 
But all of a sudden you find out that wasn't a blind man's cane. That's a pimp shit. cane too. <laughs> He's beating the shit out of this guy on the ground. Right. And uh and along comes this other guy that uh you 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 immediately recognize him, all right? This right. dude right. this this dude is from uh he's from Graphite Airplane. Right, it's a band. Alright. So he's from he's from a band by the name of Graphite Airplane. This dude has sold more records than you even do as a number, right? Like you're not even certain what the number is. What the what the what the what how many that many zeros, you don't know what the word for that is, alright? So from Graphite Airplane, this guy comes up and he's and he's and uh he's and he's just like got his hands in his pockets, he's like, Whoa, dude. And he like stands up and says, What did you do to these guys, bro? <laughs> I didn't do anything. He pulls out his phone. It's like, this is so going on my Instagram, dude. Go ahead. Matter of fact, text that picture. Text hey, that party picture foul, this. man. Keep it over the belt. Dude, hey, text that picture to my to this phone here real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the number? <laughs> I'm going to give him the number. All right. To which phone? Is that Faith's phone? phone? Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh Faith's phone. God, of course you're about to get a phone. picture of a fucking crime scene. Just a text <laughs> of a crime scene from... Hey, uh, listen, it's not a crime unless it's disturbing something. Yeah, it's so, so, uh, he's like, you know, so while this guy's just getting the crap kicked out of him, like, this this rock cell just turned to you like this isn't even happening, put his phone back in his pocket, like, dude, you seem pretty cool, man. You want to come hang out? Yeah, maybe at some point. Ah, how about, I'll tell you what, man. I am, I am throwing the most bitchin' party tonight, dude. Bitchin'. Emphasis oh, yeah, on sure. bitch, you know what I mean? Bro. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Like, it's free and it's booze and it's awesome. Hell yeah, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, go ahead and text that. Text the address to that phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the address. What time? What time's everything getting together? Oh, it's like six, man. All right. Yeah, for sure. I'll probably swing it around seven or eight. All right. Is that what you do? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the address that he gave you, for the record, is is uh, is an address in Shortbushes. Oh yeah. Okay. Bam. All right. Um. Uh, Unlike unlike Levi, I do not go googling shortbushes.com. <laughs> the short bushes closed community, closed gated community. All right, only for the richest of the rich motherfuckers. They don't spread open their gates for anybody except the really wealthy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I out of character, I just, that was so innuendo what you just said there. Matt doesn't even know. <laughs> Don't spread what? your gates open for anybody, no matter how much money, never mind. Sorry, forget it. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was funny at least, I don't know. But Matt has no, know. Matt le legitimately doesn't know what is so funny about what he just said. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so you, you go to this party, right? And you get mm -hmm. absolutely fucking trashed i mean like downright blackout drunk you have no idea if you if like by the time you wake up you're not gonna know if you got laid or not like that's how fucking amazingly trashed you get right oh yeah blackout drunk roll the dice to see if i'm getting drunk <laughs> <laughs> are there any <laughs> girls there do I do good sex? Do I? <laughs> there are. That was a quote from last week. That was. I want to do that. That was, that was telling you as. Did I do good sex? Yes. Oh my did I God. do good? Yes, I did. I did good sex. Did you did roll to sex. see if you did good sex? We rolled. We rolled to find out if she did good sex. We rolled. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. So roll to see how drunk you get. I don't see a roll. <laughs> why did? Why would anybody permit? <laughs> why did somebody permit walk zombie? To why? Fucking... Why? 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 Jen, okay, Jen, there's two I'm rules. I'm clicking on this. I'm clicking. Don't ever, don't ever permit walk zombie, and don't ever permit humbles, and you're good. Oh. All right, so. Damn. So, uh, let's flip the demand. camera over. Omega. Yeah. You wake up the morning after you, uh, after you get this assignment from, uh, right. from, uh, Kennington. Right. Mm hmm Slow down, chew your food. <laughs> <laughs> Get a drink of water. 
<laughs> Make sure to chew it like 50 times. Remember, those are the oh, rules. Gatorade. Oh, I'm sorry. Gatorade. <laughs> In those electrolytes. In light, in light of recent events, this is Gatorade. Oh. Hey, whoa! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Uh, what is that whoa. emote again? Say what? Oh, no, I'm trying to figure out what that emote was. Sweet Hanford. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So Did they make that one available to everybody? Yeah. It's a... It's a, it's a it's actually only available to straight people. <laughs> well, no, it didn't used to be. It didn't used to be available. I know, I know. They just legalized it today. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This guy. This guy right here. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> Wasn't it yesterday, though, that they did that? It was, but we're going to let that slide. Oh, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> it's nice that they legalized it on a Friday so you can have a whole bunch of wedding weekends. Oh yeah, and a whole bunch of. You wake enemies. up, and the first thing the first thing that happens is your is your wife is watching the news. Mhm. Mm there's a report there was a murder last night in uh, in tall trees in tall trees short bushes. In short bushes, gated community last night there was a there was a vicious and brutal murder, and the police are being very tight lipped about it. Mm hmm Nobody's saying anything. Um, and they're, they're not telling the media anything, but the media's still having a heyday. This is the first night of the full moon this month. And, to top it off, you know for a fact the gated community is owned by Kennington. Okay. Yeah, no, Kennington was trying to keep it out of the media. Yeah, it's, uh... That's out there now. That's, uh, that's a little out there now. So what do you do, Axel? Uh, so, so, re recap again. I couldn't hear over all the onion ring crunching. Uh, what, was, what was being hidden again? The murder. Yeah. Okay. Mur there was a murder in uh, Shortbushes. Right. On the news, yeah, right, right, and, and that it's all over the news, right. What was it? What else did you need though? Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's that's it. I mean, that I... that's it because that because uh because the the news the news station saying no details are yet available. Okay, all right. So yeah, they're just trying to cover but some do... of it up. I mean, roll me hmm? wit's perception. Wit's perception. Um... That's not a stat. What's composure, which is perception? Right, 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 right. Zero successes. Boom. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I yeah. All right. All right. I don't know what 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 are you trying? Like you rush immediately <laughs> out there. I don't. What what am I? My character. Make my character. The roll. I mean, he he already has, he already, <laughs> he already has every time he already has his list of what he has to go check out right so he is just going to um he's going to get back he's going to get back to it he's going to go out hop in his car and start investigating around the the areas on his list the next the next uh he had a list of places he's supposed to check okay. out right okay so you're you know okay so so you wake up you find out it was a murder in the place that you just checked last night yeah he he's not he's i mean axel i mean the the whole uh dirty business sort of undercover or not undercover but like hiding and all that that's nothing new to him i mean he knows mm -hmm. that's that that's, that shit goes on it half doesn't surprise him he but he knows his mission he know he, he knows what he has to do and he's just going to get back to his job regardless and start working on it. So, okay. He's not read too much into it, I guess. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, so, so you go to the next place on the list. It's it's another it's another community across town. Okay. Um, this one is a lot like the last. You're starting to realize why it is that, that very rich people will pay so much money to come live in a in a Kennington run. Community. Right. Uh, security is tight. Privacy is high. 
there's not a lot to worry about, right? Okay. There's no paparazzi. There's, you know, like getting into some of these is actually a pain in the ass. You have to actually, you know, bust out the badge. And right. Like, no, seriously, I'm police. Like, you have to let me in. Like, <laughs> they've got bouncers before you even get to the buildings. Yeah. Right? Like, okay. they've, got, they've got security guards that keep people from getting in. Yeah, private security. Okay. Uh, okay. And, uh, and, and, and there, there's, there's only two places uh, other than short bushes that are in a drivable area today. Okay. Right? Because he owns places all over the world. The rest of Wait, them are like cross country right. stuff, right? So, so the second place uh, is, 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 is it, it comes out pristine. Like, there's, you're pretty certain that, like, th- this place is immune to murders. That, like, okay. murders can't happen here. That there is probably some sort of great and powerful, like, sky wizard that, that prevents anything bad from happening here through this ridiculous, I mean, like, V for Vendetta level of security. It's almost right. a little creepy, right? Right. Uh, the second place, however, feels a little... Uh, it, it feels a little uh, off. Um, and you're not, you're not particularly certain why, and neither am I until I get my notes... Which are seriously now they're missing? Oh no, they're over here. Okay, I was gonna be pissed. Sounds like you've got something going on over there too. I got fucking gremlins in my room. Um, (laughs) make sure you wipe your fingers for the onion ring grease before you start touching that stuff. You know, you want if your paper's all greasy. Nah, if your character sheet doesn't have like smudges and shit all over it, and it hasn't lived. Yeah, Coffee okay, stain. So, yeah, um, but you don't want them to remind you of onion rings this, when you don't have Dorito, onion rings. Dorito fingerprints. This place feels funny to you. You can't shake. It feels a little familiar, and you're not certain how. Right. Mm-hmm. But you can't. Okay. You can't put your finger on it. Um, I like that place. Yeah, that that place. Like, if something bad that is going to happen, it's probably going to happen something. here. Yeah. The other one, super high security, likely is nothing. If if there is some shit going down, the chances of me cracking down on it would be really tough compared to a place that I already know is kind of shady. Yep, yep. So okay. Yeah, I, I think I definitely would go to that place. The last of the onion rings. The final onion ring. <laughs> 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 Where onion rings used to reign supreme. <laughs> uh, we have come to the last one. <laughs> I, knew it. I was waiting for it. Onion rings. They're so good. The one ring to rule them all. Oh, nice. <laughs> the one ring. <laughs> <laughs> Gets eaten today. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Oh my God. So 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 you go and you start investigating around, and uh, you 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 you're, you're investigating like you know you get the bushes and the front lawns and the trees and the mm-hmm. grass. Sure There's thing. just one house. There's this one house that that that. The grass hasn't been mowed in a while. The bushes mm. haven't been trimmed in a bit. Mm. Uh, the, the tree in the front lawn is is overgrown. Like there's just too not not very well kept. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I am okay. And you, you head up to this building because this is the one that stands out. Right. Uh, and, and you knock on the door. And the door kind of creaks. Who's there? Oh. Sorry, I thought that was my door for a second. <laughs> Knock, Doc, actually, it sounded so really thought someone was actually knocking. Pith, mm-hmm. Pith for Foley. Pith for Foley, 2015. Pith for Foley. Uh-huh. <laughs> Most believable uh-huh. Foley I ever encountered. <laughs> Optical, 2015. <laughs> So, uh, you need to get so, more so you, you step into the house, and the house is is it's dark, not like creepy dark, right? But like you know, the lights are off dark, and you throw the 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 the, the flip switch for the lights, and it doesn't okay. do anything, right? There's no mm. power. All right. Take so it's an old abandoned house, probably. Yeah, it's, it's an abandoned house, and you step inside, but this is definitely like the weirdest of all the weird here, right? And as you round the corner into the first room, you bend over and you find a leaf. Oh God. <laughs> the leaf of destiny. 
All right. The leaf of destiny. It's we just it's just like the one that you saw <laughs> tucked like into the in the collar. All these the leaves were The leaf okay. of destiny. Well, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to definitely know something is up because that's the second leaf that I've seen that a definitely situation. was from uh, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna I always have. You know, I always come prepared, right? That's yep. one of my yeah. pros. <laughs> and uh, I have uh, Ziploc baggies on me, and I'm going to put one in the Ziploc I'm baggie that's dealer. conveniently the right size for this leaf. <laughs> All right. No, that's, that's cool. The Ziploc baggies. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take it back what we thought was a police officer it was actually a drug dealer. Da -da -da. <laughs> hey. Just a leaf. No, you would actually probably have, like, different size evidence bags and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're please don't look. He's <laughs> drifting as if in space. Can you all see that? Like, yeah, he started like sliding away. <laughs> uh, space Odyssey 2002 music. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so what? What are you? What is your next? Uh, what is your next I, move? I I'm not I'm not just gonna leave. I I want to thoroughly. I want to walk right. around thoroughly. Find usually when, if there's something abandoned, usually there's some sort of notice or something like that. Yeah. Um, so I want to look for that. Uh, and we're definitely record the address and stuff as well. Okay. Uh, the best you get is at the the best you get is at the, there's a for sale sign in the front lawn, right? For a local uh a local business, right? But the for sale okay. sign the for sale sign is actually like you actually have to, like it's hidden behind the house, like leaning up against the back of the building. Oh, so it's not even planted in the yard. It's okay. not even planted in the yard. Like you, you get thorough and you, you go across in the back end. It's, it's there, and it, like it, it, you can go and you can see where it's supposed to go in the front yard, right? Somebody literally just upped and moved it. Hmm. Okay. okay. Um, the inside of the house, uh, like it's dusty. It hasn't been, hasn't had anybody in it for a while, except a couple of the rooms have some fresh tracks. Oh. Like like footprints. Okay. Uh, I'm they, take. They, they seem to come from and go to nowhere. Um, definitely taking pictures of that. Yep. Um, is anything else I see? Wait, what, what, what do you mean go come? Are they just in like in the living room and they're just like somewhere or yeah, like, yeah, footprints like it, in what? Seemingly Carpet, random wood. rooms, right? We'll have and we'll have footprints that start at the door to the room, right? Like in, but there are no footprints before the door into the room. Right. Yeah, I got, I got and you. they go like to a wall and stop. Ah. It's, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. All right. I feel pretty confident. This is just one story. Is there two stories? It's it's a one story building. Okay. Yeah, I feel pretty confident. I think I'm gonna. I got everything I need, and probably just gonna head out. All right. And are you gonna? Uh, well, are you gonna? Are you gonna follow up on that leaf clue? Yeah, I'm gonna take the leaf Can with me. Fun? And all that other stuff. I'm gonna take it back to the lab. The people in the white coats. All right. And, uh, have them examine it, uh, and then run a report on this particular house when it went up for sale. Okay. Is uh, it still up for sale? The house. The house has been. Um, the house has been put up for sale for several years now. Uh, the last owners uh, will come up to be like some cousin of the of the Kennington's. <laughs> We'll, okay. we'll call him Bobby Cannington. It all looks like it's you know it's it's above board. It's it it's legit. Uh, best running theory: somebody didn't want the house sold. Maybe a squatter. That's okay. The, like that's the closest you got. It doesn't like that explanation doesn't seem to settle well with you, because of those footprints. Like they just seem to come from thin air, right? Okay. But okay. as far as like I found footprints in the house. The 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 for sale sign was 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 hidden out of sight. Right, it's otherwise abandoned. Yeah, it's squatter. That's what anybody who looks at the report is going to think, anyways. Best conclusion, but we don't know. Okay. Uh, um, and I, and I'm dropped the leaf off at the lab, right? Yep. Okay. And that takes a while. That that that'll take a couple hours. They'll uh they'll come back okay. where where you found it, because that okay. that particular leaf, like that species of plant, that doesn't mm -hmm. exist on this continent it's not native all right it, it like the only the only, like this, this particular plant is known specifically for being from romania romania okay it's the so... only place you can find that plant 
And it's not like this was a preserved leaf that, like, you know, fell out of somebody's collection or whatever. Like, this is a pretty fresh old leaf. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fresh. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> I can't even hold a straight face when I do I it. I thought I saw optical yeah, for a like... second there. <laughs> You can only get like two seconds and then you're just gonna start laughing at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what time of the day does this run me at now, roughly? Like, can I? Day? Uh, it's about afternoon now. Um, okay. If, if you know your media, they've probably finally cleared out of, uh, out of short bushes. You could go check that out. Yeah, I was about to say I want to go check out some more stuff before I call it a day. Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, yeah. so so we're gonna flip the camera over to Levi. <sighs> Levi, whoa, whoa, I got screen time. Yeah, you get screen time. Well, I mean, it's, as much screen time as somebody who doesn't have a camera is allowed to have, anyways. Oh, uh, who is this? Oh, sick bird. <laughs> who, who's 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 that talking? What's going on? It's I practice I practice my ventrilo my ventriloquism. Oh, right. I think I do a pretty good job. Guys, what's going on in this thread? <laughs> Suddenly, the guy who has no camera. <laughs> <laughs> can we just can we just put Optical's face like that as the avatar for Levi? Right. Can we right. just do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, so Levi, <laughs> you made a shitload of money that day, right? I did. Yeah. So do you do you tell? Uh, the, okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go, you want to go drop off for like pay the medical bills for, uh, yep. for Mike, right? And set him up with something because his whole house burned down. So I figured I need to, you know, give him enough money to pay for the medical bills and set him up for a while. All right, all right. Ten thousand should easily cover medical oh, yeah. bills and no, like easily. a few months. Easily, ten thousand. Like this dude. Good dying. Like as, if, as far as you know, like you're the only person who's ever done anything nice for this guy. The way he's reacting, like. <laughs> He's, he's like, oh god, oh my god, dude, thank you so much. Like, and, and, he, and he, you'll actually have to like extract yourself from that scenario by uh -huh. uh, by like you know just like cautiously taking every step towards the door you can until oh, like you I have to just, like, I just step hit his escape button, <laughs> right? Yeah. Say what? I said I figured I'd just hit his morphine button. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he, he he was only in the this hospital. This guy. For, uh, he was only in the hospital for like a day or so. Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, so yeah. To Carefully stepping back. For, yeah, smoke inhalation. You're yeah. going to be put on oxygen. Oh man, I've had so many conversations like that. Um. So, so you, you managed to escape. Uh. And then, then what do you do? Like, you gonna, are you going to tell your little sister about all the money you just made? Mm, I don't really see a reason to. It's kind of my business. I mean, if she's got something that comes up that needs a lot of money, maybe. Okay. Like, hey, we, yeah, we had a windfall, but I mean, she's oh, I not hold charging my hands. I don't see how it impacts her really. Okay. Um, I mean, I plan on investing most of this stuff. Like, maybe half of it goes into a college fund for her. But right, right. Is that what you do with it? Uh, yeah. Why not? I'll okay. do that with it. So with ten grand off the top, and then half of the sixty-five that's left over into a. Uh... Yeah. All right, and that leaves you with uh, thirty-two and a half. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I wasn't gonna do the exact math. That that was easy. <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, I wasn't gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so so that night you go to sleep, right? That night what? That night you go to sleep, and that the the following morning, uh. You wake up mm. a little earlier than you were intending mm -hmm. uh, because your little sister is getting into a really heated phone conversation. You can't help but overhear. Like, she's pretty pissed because somebody said something they shouldn't have to somebody that they shouldn't have. Oh, okay. Uh, like, why would you tell Sally that? Oh, my God, you're such a bitch. I don't want to talk to you. We're not friends anymore. Like, it's... <laughs> it's, uh... She seems, like, legitimately angry. Like, really angry. Is she on a landline or the cell phone? She's, she's probably on a, on, on a landline because you guys have fallen on hard times. I don't see you guys having, like, multiple cell phones in the house. I'll pick up the other end. Okay. Listen in. Why not? Yeah. You, oh, okay. my God. Classic 90s move. All right, so. <laughs> Get off the line. Come on. So, so, Matt, what I want you to do is I, I want you to roll. I want you to roll. Uh. What 
what would this be? It'd be stealth. Yeah, deck stealth. <laughs> Straight decks? Dex stealth. Oh, I don't have stealth though, so. Yep, so straight decks. Alright. Here we go. Don't fuck it up. Alright. I, uh, I got a success, alright. So so the little sister has uh has been uh you don't this is the first you've heard of any of this, right? Naturally. That's uh, why I, that's why I'm doing the sneaky like. Yeah, exactly. Uh because this won't blow up in your face later. Um <laughs> I want to get the name of this girl she's having an argument with. Okay, so she's having an she's having an argument with a, with a girl by the name of Sally. Um, best you can do. Wait, they, they go to school together. Sally, wait, was oh no, no, that's that's right. That was the that was the assistant at the police. Yeah, Sa Sally was the was the was the was the assistant. To the... <laughs> There's two Sallys. Okay, or is yeah, it the same? People Sally? share more than more than one person in the world can share the same name. It's true. That's not true. <laughs> so, and apparently, Sally told your your little sister's boyfriend, who you didn't even know existed, by the way, oh. um, that that uh, that 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 so a secret that only Sally knew uh, about a party that that uh, that your sister is going to be putting together. Oh man, I thought that was going to be another p word. A party that my sister <laughs> is putting together. Yes. Uh, and do I catch any details about that, like where it's at or whatever? No. Just, just about the party, uh, and that it, and that, and, and that's all you know. Um, and the conversation will end in a, in a, I hate you, click. Right, <laughs> right, yeah, naturally, because Sally, did, what did Sally do exactly? Sally told your sister's boyfriend about a party, about the party? that your sister was going to throw. That your, that your part, that your sister's boyfriend didn't. Know oh, it was about. supposed to be like a surprise party then. No, you or don't know it. Why was the boyfriend not supposed to know about it? You don't know. Okay, gotcha. That was understood to be like known between the two girls, like she didn't have to explain it apparently. All right, all right. Well, I've got I've got the direct approach as a trope, so I'm and I'm I'm just gonna basically hang up and go walking into my sister's room, or you know, I'm, I'm not knock not walking, and I'll you know I'll go to the door, knock. For the love of God, do not tell your little sister that you were listening on our phone conversation. <laughs> Do not do this, man. So, hey, so, hey, that's table talk. That's table talk. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Don't, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I already knew that I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I so, totally did it. Oh, God. So, Real life application. Never do this. <laughs> oh, I, I totally don't do this would. at home, kids. Be, uh, yo, I was listening to your phone call. Uh, okay, so, so <laughs> no, no, you, you knock gonna, right, was... and there's a, there's a small rustling sound from the other side of the door, right, and then no sound. Elsa? Uh, you okay in there? Oh, I'll sleep. Crack. What do you want? I'll crack it's the door open. Five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I heard yelling in here. What's going on? What? Yeah, I heard yelling in here. I think I would have heard somebody yelling. God, just go to bed. <laughs> See the thing is, <laughs> out of character, out of character. See the thing is, out of character is what I'm saying is, I know she's lying, <laughs> right? Yes. And in character, I want to be able to confront that and say something along the lines of, "Yeah, I don't really buy it." But There's no way to do that. You can you know say, what? "I don't." You could say, I don't really buy it. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I figure I can, you know, I'll, I'll just go I ahead. Don't I don't really you. buy it, Elsa. Like, come on. What? Buy, buy what? What? We have to do this now? Well, you're up. I'm up. You woke me up, so. You woke me up! Okay, now, now. See, there's a way to bust her on fine. this. I'm not going to say Fine, fine. Oh, is there? There That's is. fine. Don't tell me. Don't no tell coaching. me because this no coaching. character, no coaching. he's nope. supposed to be. He's supposed to be bad at relating to his sister. Yeah. Like he likes. He loves no, her. No, no, no. But... I was never gonna tell you. But there oh, is a way. Well, let's shut up yeah. and let him play. He loves her, but he just can't do this in a diplomatic way. So he's just like, okay, okay, fine. If there's any problems or anything, though, let me know. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Uh. 
you, he'll walk out. He'll he'll go to his he'll, he'll get out his cell phone though, and he'll go like outside and take a walk around the block. Okay. And he's gonna call Axel. <laughs> five in the morning. He's calling this motherfucker. He's calling you five in the morning. Hold up, out of character. Are you sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? You're a cop. That? You can't. You're a cop. You won't yeah, kill you're me. You're trying to clean the streets up. Oh. If that's your worst fear, I won't kill you. Alright, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. What do you do? You can't kill me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're gonna call Ooh, police officer at 5 o'clock in the morning. This better be important. Out of character. You said you were out of onion rings. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> Don't worry, I can tell when you're out of character, Axel, your voice stops being all gruff. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> see, I don't, I don't need to do this, see? <laughs> Yeah. Call it Axel. Had, Axel. Axel had a nice dinner of the casserole, and he's oh like, yeah. So, so you're, calling, you're calling Axel? Yeah. Okay, he's so started. Axel, this is before this is before you uh, you spend your day investigating. Uh, All right. Oh, okay. So we're okay. Rewind a little bit, right? Yeah. This is so this before. is before you wake up and act. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> on, on the count of three, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 Y'all are nuts making wow, noise we're idiots. like that. <laughs> we're amazing idiots. Welcome to Tabletop with us. <laughs> Alright, so. Axel. Yes. You are in the middle of a feast that stretches as far as the eye can see wait, wait. of the most delicious delicious casserole your your wife has ever made. Right? Mm-hmm. This is it, it is it is it is calm, it is serene, the streets are clean. Everything is am like the, the the birds are singing, the sun is shining. Mm. The city doesn't mm -hmm. even need a police department anymore. No. There's a casserole on every ring, doorstep. Ring. <laughs> ring, ring. Are you kidding me? Ring, <laughs> ring. Honey, my phone's getting oh, angrier yeah. at me. Hold on. Ring, ring, <laughs> Jesus! All right, one second. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Axel. Holy shit! Are you really yeah, calling Levi. me at this time of the day? Yeah, sorry, I got woke up at this time of day. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured if I can't sleep, oh, might as well spread the, spread the love. Oh, this better be good. <laughs> I, I, hey, do you have uh, a way to put a trace on people? Yeah, with a permit. <laughs> with a warrant, maybe, you weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, there's, there's all this paperwork that has to be, you know, I can't just put a tracer on somebody. Oh, okay. That's like some V for Vendetta shit, you know? I can't do that. Uh, I was just curious. Uh, Is that why you really called me? That is why I called you, actually. My sister's sneaking around. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What do you? What's she doing? What do you? I don't, uh, this is weird. What do you? What do you mean? Secret party, secret boyfriend, secret arguments, the whole nine yards. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm calling you at five in the morning because my teenage sister is being a teenage girl. Sir. I'm <laughs> <sighs> So let me get this straight. I wasn't this irresponsible when I was her age. Well, good for you. Uh, so your sister is fooling around with some kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if it's gone that far. Let's not jump to conclusions. Okay, what other conclusion is there? I mean, why, why are you even calling me? What, is she like, you know... Doing drugs or, or summoning anti-devil or something? What? Uh, whoa. <laughs> no, we cleared out the anti-devils, remember? Well, I don't gone. know. I mean, it, this has to be really serious. Otherwise, you wouldn't be calling me. Yeah, it's about my little sister. Right? What? And secret party. I don't like the sound secret of that. <laughs> All right. Is this going to hang up on you? <laughs> All right, um, listen. <laughs> well, hold on. Yeah, 
No, it's some like somebody's trying to sell me something. Hold on, I'll get him off the phone real quick. Um, listen, I'll I'll try to make a point to swing by there sometime this morning, and I, I, hell, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stop by and see what the hell's going on. Okay. Thanks. Maybe she'll talk to an officer. I don't know. Last time a girl talked to me, a dog got blown up to a million pieces. Um, that happened before we got there. We don't, that wasn't, we don't know. I, you don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll see Is you. it wrong that I expected a camera zoom right there? <laughs> I was kind of hoping that, out of character, I was kind of hoping that I had that ready. I was totally wanting to do that. All right. Okay. All right. Well, let me finish up my breakfast casserole and um, I'll be <laughs> over no. shortly. And that's an officer's promise. No, I'm just kidding. That's not it's really like an officer's thing. promise. I'll be there soon, though. All right. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. All right. Jack ass. Uh, you know what? Next, I'll call Jack. <laughs> Jack. Dude, you're real. Jack. You know what? Check this out. Ready, Jack? Your phone rings. Right. Oh, he's but you don't know this. because you are blackout unconscious from <laughs> yep. being drunk. So yep. today, the role the role of uh, Jack's phone. Will be played by Evil Squeegee. <clears throat> ring, <laughs> ring, ring. Yeah, ring. I, told, I totally changed that fucking thing. Ring, ring. <laughs> hey, listen. <clears throat> Hello. This is my fucking answering machine, and you should leave a fucking message because I'm not fucking here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't change that. No, this is Faith's phone. I didn't change that. Oh no! It's, oh, it's Faith's phone. Yep. Yeah, that's the only ring, phone I have. Ring, I don't have my own phone. Ring, ring. Beep. Hey, Jack, it's Levi. Uh, listen, you're always wrapped up in illicit, st shady stuff. Uh, do you know anything about any secret parties that are happening? <laughs> <laughs> what is oh wrong my with god! You? <laughs> you're doing this with a straight fucking face. Seriously. If you could, uh, if you could just get back to me with anything, you know, uh, sometime soon, like. You know, in a few hours or whatever, that'd be great. Uh, I'll talk to you later, all right? I'm giving you a beat on this spot. For <laughs> for Look, Jack, you're always wrapped up in, like, shady illicit shit. Do you know of any, like, secret parties that are going <laughs> that While I'm girls, passed out drunk girls are going at to? a party. Yeah. While yeah, I'm literally. passed out drunk at a party that nobody knows about. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's calling the right guy here. Waterhouse <laughs> is all sorts of fucked up right now. Wow. Like, this, this is not cool. Wow. I can't wait to show to his house. Hey, hey, by the way, by the way, uh, completely off topic and out of character, uh, Piff and Squeegee, you should go to that link that I posted in the uh, Roll20 chat. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll just be glad I don't have Tanya's phone number. Or I'd be asking about how teenage girl brains function. Oh, yeah. You do not want my answers. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Anyways. <laughs> you lock your sister up after my answers. <laughs> All right. So, oh so, God. so you had. Anyways, phone, yeah. When I get done with, with Jack, oh, right? I gotta refresh this. Yeah, time. I get done with these phone calls. I'll walk back to the house. I'll you're, wait for Axel to show up. You're headed. You're Maybe headed, start making some coffee. You're headed back to your uh, back to your house, right? Right, and that and that that scent of of fresh cut grass comes back for just a second. Oh, damn it! I can't believe I'm still having these episodes. Uh, it's been weeks. <laughs> it has been. It's been weeks. Uh, and, and you see, the uh, and you see the rabbit. Oh, uh oh. And it's, okay. it's headed off that way. Does it want me to follow it? Yeah. Oh. Damn it. You know what? Last time, last time, th this is, this has to be doing the right thing. Cause the last time I followed the rabbit, I ended up killing somebody, but it was important that I kill them because they were really bad. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to assume that I'm doing the right thing. I'm following the rabbit. All right. So you're going to follow the white rabbit. Uh, so, uh, so Axel, that day, uh, you are, you are going to, 
Levi's house. Or are you? Okay. Where where am I? Are you going to? Oh yeah, no, no, I I made a promise. Alright, so you, so you go uh and, and you knock on the door, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make um, this quick though, don't but believe that. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not gonna No, this 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 like she's like fifteen, sixteen year old girl, right? She's still wearing her yep. pajama pants, right? And like an oversized t shirt, her hair is a wreck. Right, she's rubbing her eyes. And she opens the door. What? <laughs> What? That is totally what teenage girl. What? <laughs> Waterhouse, uh, uh, out of character. Waterhouse, you owe me big time, man. I can't believe you're making me do this. I, I didn't make you. I just asked if you would. <laughs> you sound, you know, but you know, you know me. Yeah, you know your my voice character. probably sounded like actually legitimately worried. So he's taking. Hey, I didn't want you. To, I didn't. I didn't ask you to interact with her. I asked you to track her. Oh, oh, okay. Just track her. Right, right, right. Just track her. You know. Put make a sure chip on her or something. And... Make sure she stays safe. Yeah, a chip would have been fine. Oh, right. yeah, sure, right? A police officer just throw a random chip on a 15-year-old girl anytime they want. <laughs> um, <laughs> can do anyways. it with pets. All right, all right, focus, focus. <laughs> so, so she opens the door, right? She, op <laughs> she opens the door. Great. And goes, okay, all right. Um, what? <laughs> I, I've, uh... How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing this morning? <laughs> Good. Well, all right. You seem a little tuckered out. Um. Yep. I heard some uh, complaints in nearby area about some. Um. Um. Oh, yeah, noise complaints. That was what I was looking for. Sorry. Heard some noise complaints and some uh, shady stuff going around here. Have you uh, seen anything out of the ordinary last night? What are you, the noise police? Uh, it, uh, yeah. All police are the noise yes. police. <laughs> all, yeah, all police are the noise police. I mean, oh, you're I'm, the police. I'm, I'm oh. the drug police. I'm the crime police. I'm the <laughs> gun police. I'm the, you know, <laughs> stop loitering police, whatever. I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> I... But All that. I guess there's shady stuff. You should what? check the neighbors across the street. They're into all kinds of shady stuff. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Honest, like, people like coming and going. I guess they like drugs or whatever. Okay. That's... All right. Um, <laughs> that's good info. <laughs> um, but anything in this house particular... Or... Yeah. So was this, there, was there some crazy one. parties last night over there or something? Is that, no. is that? No. Crazy. No. What? No. All right, never mind. The worst no, thing that ever happens to this house is that creepy blonde guy that always oh. comes in and out like he owns yeah. the place. Yeah, he's, yeah. Okay. I, I think I know him. who you're talking about. Yeah. Can I go now? Um, yeah, sure. I'm sure you're going to eat she some just, cereal. She, like, she just closes the door in the middle of your sentence. Right, 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 like, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Nice day. Right. So, Go across the street and bust some drug dealers now. <laughs> yeah, to get across the street. The, nobody lives in the building across the street. Oh, is that is that the same building I looked at earlier? No. Oh. No, it's just nobody happens to live there. Like, she just she's full of shit. She was just getting ready. Really. She was just getting ready. Well, like, you know what? Teenage girl. All done here. <laughs> I'm going to call Waterhouse. Pick up my phone. Uh, what, what did he have? Oh, wait. Um, hold select, start, push A. Yeah, I think that was it. Hold select, start, So, uh, Waterhouse's phone will go to voicemail. Ah, uh, son of what? a bitch. Of course, um, it is going to voicemail. And before we come, before we explain what's going on in the next scene, right, that's when the camera's going to shift over to Tanya. And before we find out what's happening with Tanya, what's going on with Levi, and why the hell is Jack drunk? We still don't understand anything what's going on. And if you stick around for the next three minutes, because we're a little late here, but top of the hour, we're taking a three-minute break, all right? We might even tell you how magnets work. Okay, guys? Maybe. Magnets? Magnets. Fucking magic. You have no idea how they work, all right? All those questions answered and more in three minutes. We'll next be right time. back after this intermission. Whoa. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs>